Here at Stoneman Douglas, it isn't uncommon to see a student or staff member who's gone through the approval process to bring their pet to school. I think the process is the same for whoever's going to be with the dog as far as the certification and training. You have to have a 504 plan in order to get approved, so it takes a while for the school to assess you and decide if you're eligible for a 504 plan. Uh, after that, it goes to the county and then it gets approved. You get a dog that you think has the temperament for uh, wanting to be around people and making people feel better. So we, we got the gift of River. So in order to be a service dog, he has to perform some kind of service. So for me, he's a psychiatric service dog. So basically, if I'm having anxiety or I have a panic attack, he knows to either go get someone or to comfort me in a way that like would help me calm down. So something he does is like he lays on me and like the compression helps me calm down. And other stuff he has to learn is like not to interact with people and um, to stay by your side constantly. Obviously, first he has to be certified as a service dog, so you gotta like go through the training. So the dog has to go through all the regular training, like basic dog training, advanced dog training, canine good citizen certificate, and then therapy dog testing. I don't have a service dog, I have a therapy dog. In our case, we worked with an organization called CAT, Canine Assisted Therapy, and they tested River and she passed, so she's now certified with them. She's a certified therapy dog. She's my emotional support dog as well. Most people have a smile on their face when they see River and they want to pet her, and they ask me, can I pet her? And I say, yes, that's what she's here for. And she has a little jacket that says, please pet me. Considering all of the time that they spend together, it comes as no surprise that handlers and their dogs share a deep connection. He helps motivate me to go to school, and another thing is I don't have to worry about feeling very anxious because I know he's there. It's easy to understand the relationship I have with River. She's just like a best friend. She helps me a great deal. She's my emotional support dog. She, just being near her and petting her and talking to her, you know, looking at her, she, it's like looking at a person. She has these, these eyes that really understand. She is, knows when I need her and she's there for me. She's a bundle of love. This is Amalia Lomicki for WMSD News, signing off.